Hey guys, welcome back. Part 3 of the playthrough. We are looking for a guy that has already been missing for two days. So let's do that. Yeah! Hey! Stay with me! Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. You think it's John? Hey, you tell me! Where the hey, hell? Let's stay on the path. Ah. Need the horse tracks for sure, but. How did you get there? Anywhere. Let's just see where they lead. Maybe there's a bridge over there. Let's oh. check it out. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Easy. Oops. Oops. God damn it. I'm stuck here. Oh. How the hell? Whoa. Alright, that's the horse health bar. So, you were there out here. What really happened on that boat? We had the money. We the money and then suddenly... When its stamina is empty, slowing down will allow your horse to regain stamina. Your horse will not gallop when its stamina is empty. That shootout, I guess I was in third person. I'm not really sure. In the last episode, I should not forget to enable first person. Or maybe I was in third person, but actually, I did Watch not enable iron sights shooting. To change camera, distance, and perspective, Dutch press killed this a girl button. In a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. Just like on the horse, I also forgot the first person. Continue along the cliff wall here. <laughs> Davey got shot. Mac and John, both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. To activate cinematic camera, holds where the touchpad, which is super cool. Oh. Hold X while viewing cinematic camera to automatically follow roads and other paths. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. To change cinematic view, press R3. Changing it now. Looks so cool. Really looks almost like a movie. To exit cinematic camera, press touchpad again. Ah, let's just keep it on. Why not? We're on autopilot. Just as handy. Careful, it's getting narrow here. Yeah, but I'm on autopilot. This is like a, a Tesla avant la lettre. A Come on, Tesla vehicle. Yeah, a lot of fresh snow here. Before it's time. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Right, right. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. I hope so. Ooh, you see that? Something over there. John was riding that horse when we left Blackwater. Uh, Let's see if what we can the hell? hear us. Why? What the hell, horse? Where is the horse here? Come on, up there. Uh. Oh, first let's check it out. And by the way, this is uh, Tennessee Walker, was an entry, I guess, in the previous episode. I didn't comment on it, but Tennessee Walker is the type of horse that we have. 
and we can see that over here horse overview take care of your horse will increase its bonding which in turn will increase its health stamina speed and acceleration we are currently you see it to the right you have three circles stamina health and bonding symbols we are at the first level of bonding um, you can rename your horse at the stable which is really cool we will do that uh, the horse currently is dirty uh, regular grooming will prevent your horse from becoming dirty. If your horse becomes dirty, its health will be negatively effective. And it's also agitated, probably because of that gunshot. Riding your horse too hard or bringing it into contact with stressful situations such as combat or predators can lead to it becoming agitated. An agitated horse can throw its rider off. Uh, I will have to calm it down. Uh, tech uh, saddles not only add style but can improve some of your horse's statistics. In this case, regen rate, core drain rate, and core uh, stamina core drain rate, and health core uh, drain rate. Stirrups. Stirrups can improve some of your horse's statistics, acceleration and speed, and the stamina core drain rate, which is plus 0%. So that's not really uh, good stirrups for that we currently have. Um, I will just, yeah, then just read through all of them. Uh, take care of the horse will increase bonding which in turn will increase its health, stamina, speed, and acceleration. I think I already read that one. Physique. While most aspects of your horse's physique are fixed, its weight can change based on how you choose to feed it. Bonding, feeding, grooming, and riding your horse will increase your bonding level. Higher bonding levels will in turn increase your horse's attributes and other statistics. We are at level one bonding health your horse's health attribute determines how much damage it can take health can be impacted by conditions or improved through tech and bonding levels and conditions is probably being uh, uh, overweight and uh, the temperature uh, outside so like in stormy weather it, it probably will affect its health stamina your horse's stamina attribute determines how long it can gallop for Horse stamina can be impacted by conditions or improved through tech and bonding level. So that's about the horse. We will have to calm it down. And we currently have, um, of course, also a compendium entry on the horse. And I will show you the horse types. Why isn't there anything on the horse? It's a bit weird. Oh, here it's a, it's an animal, but it has its separate entry, separate section. Here it is, Tennessee Walker, a common black rabicano coat can be found in the wild. Tennessee Walkers are riding horses. They can be identified by their refined head and elegant build. The red roan, black rabicano, chestnut, and dapple bay coats can be found in the wild. A flexen roan is purchasable from a stable. This breed is renowned for its eye-catching trot and comfortable gait. They are healthy and handle well with good stamina and speed, making them perfect for long journeys. Total progression, 50%. I'm not really sure what progress means. Maybe uh, having different coats or something. Unco oh, that's it. Uncommon coats ridden. Only one out of two. Um... Maximum bonding achieved zero. We are, uh, no, we are at level one, I guess. Common coach ridden zero, studied, yes. Speed and acceleration. So that is about te the Tennessee Walker, which we will rename as soon as we hit a stable or name. I don't think it has a, a, a name yet, so it's not a rename. And help, wrong button. Here we pet it. We're gonna chill, relax, have it relax. Just get back on the horse for you. Which will also be good for uh, our bonding level. And let's study it. Although I do think we already did study it. Show info. Coat. Our coat is Mahogany Bay. Uh, acceleration. It's uh, and speed. We all have it bumped up one level. Handling is standard. All right. Let's Easy pet it again. Now, boy. And again. Boy. Was still a bit agitated. Now it's super relaxing. 
there and you I saw like that horse symbol with a little plus sign that maybe means that no what the hell is this show info r1 does that mean that no we did not yet uh, gain a, an additional bonding level but we did make progress towards it I guess Nope, not at all. And also what is pretty cool in this game is the attention to detail. Which yeah, is probably obvious by now. But also the, the really the gritty realistic elements of the Wild West. Like this urine. It's a bit gross. But of course, often I guess during death struggles, people and animals do let go of their bowels and of their bladders. That's what you, what we're seeing here with that urine. It's a pretty uh, accurate detail. Okay, boy. Let's ride on out. Idiot. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. Who? I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun. You can from only horse. carry one side or another time. You can swap your carried weapons with weapons stored in your horse. All right. Currently, we have equipped the um, revolver. Getting that gun then? And we can also get the horse weapons. Uh, you also have to maintain your weapon. You see that to the right, but we don't have any weapon oil, I guess. Or do we? No, that's we have the clean button to the right, but it's grayed out because we do not have any oil. And the weapon is also clean, so that's good. Um, I think we can just keep the revolver or let's switch it out for the... Um, For the shotgun, why not? Down this way. All right. I'm with you, boy. Or not, boy, dude. Why? Eh, now it's again back to that regular control scheme. Like X is crouching, but I had it. Oh. Uh, that's maybe because I only changed it in third person, of course, I'm such an asshole. I also have to, I changed it here in third person. It needs to be changed in first person as well, of course. So, it's such a, one moment, it's such a big game, there are many elements to consider. Here we go. Let's find the missing gang member. Careful here. No, not careful. Let's slide down. Come on. Whee! And then going yeah, off the cliff here. here. You're telling me. Help me! You show sure about this? Over here! Stamina is displayed in the lower left corner. The outer okay. bar depletes when you run, jump, or climb. The level of the inner core influences how quickly your stamina refills. It's slippery, be careful. Yeah, yeah, take it easy. Stay low under here. All right, all right. Here we go. Okay, good now. Hello, can I Watch stand up? Stamp. Your stamina Watch core it. is empty. Your Stay movement speed will wall. be limited. Up this way. Why is it empty? I didn't even uh, exercise that much or a sprint or anything. Anyways, we're gonna refill it. Let's. Uh, you can access your satchel by holding down the right D-pad. Yeah, but I can also simply go here. And what the hell? All right, what's this? Moderately restores health core and stamina core. We could take that. Or what's this? Fully restores health. This is our uh, winter gloves. 
What do we have more? And a bandana that's for keeping inconspicuous when you go on a raid. And we have, of course, the binoculars. But um, now I can take the kidney, but then I will also restore my health and I don't need that. So let's see if we have anything uh, equipped that um, only restores stamina core. Item effects are shown at the bottom of the satchel. Eat a provision with the stamina core icon to refill your stamina core. Ah, you don't need to really read it. You can also only look at the icon. That I didn't know about that. Let's here. This is moderately restores health and stamina core. Slightly restores health and moderately restores stamina. I think this is a good one. So these are the canned peaches. Closer now. Come on. Your stamina core is no longer empty. Continue to eat and drink to maintain your course. All right. Can't. I want the peaches. Canned peaches. Check our stamina. No, it's still not uh, fully the uh, full. Let's take another peach. Oh, we are out of peaches. Uh, fully restores health. Nope. What the hell? No, I need provisions. Yes. Or tonics. Let's take the provisions. This is dead eye. No, we need stamina. Yes, let's just go with the baked beans. Or do we only need a little bit of stamina? We only need a bit, little bit. No, let's just go with this. Just jump, Arthur. And our stamina is fully refilled. Stamina core. Where do we need to go? Over there. John. Here we go. Man, it's cold. Yes. The hell? Why is he only crawling at a snail space? Snail space. Snail space. Let's keep moving then. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I'm right behind you, bro. John, can you hear me? John, where are you? John! John! Come on, John. Where are you? I'm here! Down on the ledge! That's John! We're coming! The fella's there! Over here! Up to where? Right. Hot down, Marston! He's down here. That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Now a pretty hard section well, is coming up. Can't go back the way we came. Uh, I will not spoil Let's it. Try this way. But Ain't you a sorry sight. Whoa. Can't argue with you there. See, I told you. Why does it say right walk without with a circle to the right? I'm sure you did. Oh. You all right? Ah, okay. That's I because so. I have to press the left stick. Hopefully this will lead us out. It's such a beautiful game. Look at it. Here, this is what I meant. Look These are there. pretty annoying. Hello. But I now have the, uh, not the you gun, but the, the shotgun equipped. Hopefully that will make it a bit easier. And... Also, let's okay. see. No, we don't have dead eye yet. That's a bummer. But we will use the uh, eagle eye, uh, iron sight. Go, John. 
we'll leave them like to this. Answer. This is more immersive in my book. Hold L2 to lock onto an animal and press Y to attract attention. Arthur, distract them! Keep them off us! Holy oh, shit! Hello! Hello! Oh shit! Hello! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Ooh. Man, that was a close quarter. Close quarters combat. Can I skin them? Can I bolster my weapon? Yes. Okay, we cannot skin them. We can also not ex inspect them for the compendium, which is a bummer. But also look at the incredible, realistic, blood-soaked snow. Such a cool game. Anyways, I did not have... Um, uh, I do not have auto aim. Maybe I should put it on for a bit more fluid gameplay, but I will try to keep it off. So it's... I, I cannot really log on to an... Uh, an enemy. I really have to free aim. Which is quite a lot harder. Good work, Arthur. Thank you, man. But we're not out of the huge sweat. We are not out of the woods yet. Alright. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a a dog bite. <sighs> Knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour Ooh. later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. Here now. More coming down the hill! More coming down the hill, this is what I mean. This section, I really had quite a... Ooh, that went pretty well. Can I reload? Where are they? Ooh. Look out on the right! Oh, we got shit. more wolves on the left! Yeah, yeah. Get the hell out of here! Get out! Ooh, it goes pretty well. You see any more out there? Don't think so. Ooh. Jesus. Man. You still with us, Marston? This shotgun was way more effective. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. I used Thanks to do this with the um, little Boys. handgun. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. And then with free aiming on a horse, makes it a quite uh, ride hard section. Try to lose a scent. All right. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know, we're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death ain't good enough for you. Nope. Here, let's cross to the left. Right, right. Yeah, come on. Let's push hard and get back. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. But what I don't understand is that the John and that other dudes are not aware that they took shelter here. I mean, I assume they all arrived at the same yeah. time here, but so yeah, we'll maybe not. Down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Right, can we... Can we get some help? I need some help here! Come on, help him down. You're alive! You're alive! There right, we go. There we go. Uh, Ay, uh, careful, idiotas! Uh, it's his leg! Come on, let's get you warm. Thank you, thank you both. You're welcome. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> thank you, Arthur. Thank it's you. not you like he did it on purpose. Lost maidens need saving? <laughs> not today. Have you and Dutch talked about how we're gonna get out of this? I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? In the east? That civilization. I know. The west is where our problems are worse. That civilization. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss is the Nazi from the gang. He's from Germany, I assume. 
All right, finished a little mission, I guess. We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Mission complete. Enter. So what Pursuit now, by memory. Hold options for details. Hold options? What is options? Yeah, I did hold it. We get strong. Help, help it. We get go warm. to to speak with Bill. Go we to wait. Pete to speak with Mr. Pearson. All right, I on. am. I do think I am going to disable that notification thing because it really doesn't do anything uh, in the HUD. So that's display. So then everything will be off except for the hints, of course. And but these notification, like what we need to do, I will figure that out on my own. That is way more fun. It's all in the in the in the log, anyways. The only reason I put it on because there were yeah like mission objectives. I of course know they will be in the log, but I thought that also it it would have some hints like hold X to um, a match speed with your companion. I thought that was also there. Uh, and that's why I turn it on just to to uh, th that is more like a tip in my book. But I didn't really see a lot of them uh, popping up. So these notifications are mostly probably indeed uh, mission related like um, uh, objectives. And I will check the log for those. So if should there be any hint like notifications that are not uh included in the in the tips uh, pop-ups yeah then i will just forego those and i will uh hopefully figure it out myself it's a bit confusing to explain this but it, it's it's simply a, a, a thin line in my book between help tips which are on and notifications which are off but uh yeah i will i'm going to leave them off because i don't want any mission objective related pop-ups in the in the on screen because that's where the lock is for and the lock that is well, we're safe here this Long one enough. oh no not this one this is our journal but the lock continue playing you sound oh. doubtful not there was doubtful. a hint over Just there but i didn't we have been shot at before jose yeah, damn it. shut the hell up guys there was a hint over there in the we journal, bad luck. but, uh, but I put it away to too quickly to uh, read there. it. When we go back but I think it will, uh, would have said continue playing to unlock more journal west. entries, I guess. East. Uh, we will read the journal now as well, unless they could keep on continue talking, because that will be this. super annoying. My voice and their voice uh, mixed up. But this is the log, this is what I wanted to show. Um, these uh, contain uh, at least the mission objectives um, and also the how we completed them so you can have a bronze silver or gold um, I have to check the time on the timer yeah, bronze silver or gold reward for each uh, mission and for instance this one I did we we did bronze because we did loot six or more items from the rents, but we did not take no damage and we did not complete it with at least 80% accuracy. And with free aim mode, I will not be able to, uh, to get those 80% accuracy uh, achievements. So I'm not going to focus too much on the color of the reward, like be it bronze or gold, I don't mind that much. Um, Abigail Roberts, that's the one that we just completed on silver. John hasn't returned from an earlier scouting trip. Arthur and Javier ride out into the snow to look for him. Complete with at least 80% accuracy. Ah, that's cool. That's, uh, I didn't expect that. But that's also because of the widespread of the shotgun. It's pretty hard not to hit anything with that weapon. And then kill all the wolves without taking any damage. Yeah, of course, I took quite a lot of damage, so uh, I didn't uh, uh, get that one. Um, there is no new mission mentioned. We have to talk to people to unlock new missions. Uh, the challenges are also empty. That's, for instance, uh, hunt uh, a couple of deer. 
Uh, and the notification, we have no notification spending, so that's fine. The challenges are uh, also related to, I think, over here. Oh, and now it's locked, but that displays all the available challenges uh, and the, the, the progression uh, in them. Uh, for now, before unlocking a new mission or opening up a new mission, let's read the journal because they're quite elaborate. And uh, th so that we do not need to, at one point, read a lot of them. Let's just periodically keep up with the journal. Uh, this is Blackwater. That's the town where apparently some kind of raid, raid went haywire. And you can switch through the chapters with the D-pad, I guess. And within the chapters you can uh, turn the pages by pressing R1 or left one. So let's do R1. Arthur likes drawing, apparently. And yeah, I'm also going to read it uh, in the... Uh, written down version instead of the typed version because the written down version apparently also sometimes has clues on the mental state of Arthur at the moment he wrote it down like he can underline stuff if he really wants to stress a certain section or maybe he can cross out words um, uh, if he maybe is unsure about a certain section so uh, th that will only be uh, displayed in the written down version of the journal and not like in this um, uh, yeah, typed font. So let's read ahead. I bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago, whenever it was. I haven't written or drawn much in the past few months, but I was missing it more than I thought I would. And finally a nearer store, so here I am, I guess. After all the business up north and the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern Grizzlies. Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead for some land and we were going to buy, uh, to buy but the land did not match <laughs> up to his criteria or he got spooked we were being watched by the law and that's somebody knew who he was and we never bought it and we are wondering still we picked up a couple of new folk in the grizzlies <coughs> jenny a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside and micah an outlaw dutch met in a bar someplace dutch seems very taken with micah who is pretty hot-headed argumentative and full of himself hosey and i are less sure guess we shall see Okay, so Micah is uh, a bit of a doubt. Eventually we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money and the trail we took was so torturous and slow nobody could have followed us south and east or figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Halsey brought us down to Blackwater. Another drawing. I guess this is the next chapter about Blackwater. Blackwater has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last year. I was told to expect little more than a trading post, but the place is growing fast and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and leave living a more civilized life after so long under canvas. But I do not particularly like being this near a town. We are living here, camping outside town mostly, hiding in plain sight, hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. Hosey and I are onto something, something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam. 
OC thinks he may have discovered. I am not sure yet. The perfect prime, we think, one where we rub crooks. We are being real careful. It's fun working with Hosi again. The man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we are having an amusing enough time. It's good to be running scams again. Hosi is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town we, go we are going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he is also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by both apparently. So for now we are working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Mika and Dutch are planning to rob ferry, the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches. Cash coming in for the banks coming in by boat. For once I'm not getting involved in the job. Hoshi and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well. And Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled all will be okay. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness. wilderness out to the west. The next day Hosi and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. Another nice drawing of Blackwater and of uh, the horse. We have been running for weeks. I mean running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry. It turned out a disaster. Young Jenny got killed poor thing while john and mac both got arrested or killed nobody seems sure which dutch shot a girl i'm not too sure if by accident or design and seems like it might have been a setup we took to the hills in an almighty scramble leaving money and most of our things behind davy rip then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who got shot in the gut on the raids, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze. But we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town, while we await the law. Camp Coulter, that's where we are now. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Hoshi and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I own. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next once we leave this place or the law finds us cowering up here. Found a girl, well a woman I should say. Her husband had been mur murdered by uh, some of Colm O'Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. All right. Maybe I do uh, will uh, start reading the typed version because the the written down version is more immersive, but it's really hard to read a bit uh, sometimes his handwriting, and then it's also not fun to watch, I guess, or at least to hear me stumbling over all the words. English isn't my native tongue anyway, so should be as fluid as I can make make it. Let's search the, the drawer. Miracle tonic. Classic oats and miracle tonic. You picked up an opened item. Opened items provide half the benefits of new items. Alright. Check out what is here, not much, except for a big ass grinding wheel. Is it a grinding wheel? Yes, I guess so. We can sit down and chill out. Man, I didn't know they had sinks already. There's a book here, we cannot read it yet. Nor that do I want to. I really got a bit dizzy from reading the journal. Not sure why, but I did. Anything here, people? A little 
spider webbed doll. Hello. Hmm. There's no interaction uh, pop up. Not with anybody. That's weird. I remember when I was here earlier that I could small talk a bit. Let's check the timer. Where's my timer? Ten minutes left. Um nope. Because greeting people, not even small talking, but only greeting, it's good is good for your um, uh, honor. Like the honor system, the bar down below. All right, it's seven o'clock in the morning. It's zero one degrees, so it's it is thawing a bit, and I guess we need to head out then. Oh. It was a cool effect. The door slammed back in our face, probably because of the wind. There is ten the Tennessee Walker, which we still have to name. All the buildings are pretty derelict. And we can, I guess, talk with Bill or with the P. I'm not sure what the P is. Ah, that's... Um, what's his name? Why can't we run? Come on, run. Run already. The P is, I guess... <coughs> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Speak to your companions by holding L2 to focus on them and using the interaction options. Pearson. Okay, yeah, that's the cook. He has something for us, and we also have... Bill, I guess, Williamson. Hello, hello. Why am I so slow? Oh, it's not... The symbol here is not him. But it's more inside. Oh, Somebody inside. Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Ah, uh, that's Micah. I also have my doubts so. with him. I guess folks missed He was almost uh, assaulting fall, that woman that we no found fun. in that fall, um, shed. Be a party. <laughs> party. I don't like Micah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Made up my mind. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Here, what an asshole. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? Why does All Dutch you, like Micah? It's a bit come weird. On. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, nope, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole? Always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah! Oh, we got a lesso. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before huh. they find us and rob this score they're planning. Now the centering is working, the camera centering. It's automatically uh, returning to uh, straight ahead. What's 
that. Tracks, horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. Right. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest. Yeah. One way or another. <laughs> we do the cinematic camera. Oh. Some things I can forgive, others I can't forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You oh. killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, oh. I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? Let's cut up here and take a look. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Okay. No deformation. It's amazing. It's just it's now it's not a minor detail because it's so much. All right, but gentlemen. It's a really cool this detail. Are we goddamn ready? ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell. You two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. All right. Before heading into uh, the town or in the camp, I have to cut up the end the video here because I really first want to check if those shorter episodes Will, uh, yeah, if that helps with getting it to 4K on uh, YouTube, because the bigger episodes did not. So um, if it was up to me, I would now continue, but I will continue in the next part, which I guess will already be part four, because the episodes are so, yeah, in my uh, for my doing, so short. But um, I hope you enjoyed. In the next episode, we will immediately hit that O'Driscoll's camp and continue on our merry way in the wild wild west for the meantime guys never forget never ever forget keep on gaming see you later